Oh, okay. Let's go with the Lord in prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you so much for every, every, everything you did for us, everything you do for us, and everything you're going to do for us. Thank you, Father God. We are thankful to be your children, Father God. We are worship you, love you, and adore you, Father. Lord, I, I thank you that you help me get up here and be able to speak. So, Father God, I pray that your Holy Spirit, Father, speaks through me what what you want spoken, Father God, and help me to leave off what you don't want to speak, Father. I pray that it flows, Father God. I pray, Father God, that your children will listen, Father, with, with listening hearts, ears, and minds, Father God, to take in what the Spirit is saying, Father. And I thank you, Father, for the opportunity to serve you in Jesus' name, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Amen. 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 Okay. Um, the scripture is, I'm not going to start off with this scripture. But I mean, that's what it's about, no condemnation. Romans 4, 5 through 8. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> does not work, but believes. The important thing here is believing. Jesus did all the work. Okay. But to him who does not work, but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted for righteousness. Justified is a legal term signifying to acquit or to declare righteous. Hallelujah. Righteousness means the ability to stand in God's presence without the sense of guilt or condemnation. We have been declared righteous by God. Romans 4, 6 says, Just as David also describes the blessedness of the man to whom God imputes righteousness apart from works, blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven, and whose sins are acquitted, covered, pardoned. Blessed is the man, this is the New King James, blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. This is the NIV, blessed is the one whose sin the Lord will never count against them. The NLT says, whose record the Lord has cleared of sin. I just want to put a foundation for this. Hebrews 8, 12 says, For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and lawless deeds I will remember no more. That's our new covenant of the, with the blood of Jesus, the new covenant. Okay, the same scripture on 8, 12 in the voice version. I will be merciful when they fail, and I will erase their sins and wicked acts out of my memory as though they had never existed. Hebrews 10.10 10 says, We have been sanctified, that means set apart for the Lord Jesus. We have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. He doesn't have to do it again. Another one says, once and for all time. Colossians 2.13 says, And you, being dead in your trespasses, he has made you alive together with him, having forgiven all your trespasses. And if you look it up in the Greek, because the, um, it, it, well, the New Testament was um, um, translated from the Greek to uh, American, you know, uh, English, okay. If you look up the word all, it means all. All. Does that mean almost all, or does that mean all? All. That means all, all. all your trespasses. Jesus took our sin and the punishment for the sin. 
He also gave us his righteousness. At the same time, he took our sins, he gave us his righteousness. Titus 3, 5. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but having been justified, that means declared righteous, by his grace. Romans 5.17 For if by the trespass of the one man, Adam, death reigned through that one man, how much more, how much more will those who receive God's abundant provision of grace and the gift of righteousness will reign in life through one man, Jesus Christ. There's the key right there. It's the key right there. We have been given the gift of right standing with God. And Romans 8, 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. It's the gift of no condemnation. It's a gift. Can't earn it. The gift of super abundant grace. The gift of righteousness. The gift of no condemnation. Sin is condemned, not you. Hallelujah. Every everything that has ever ever happened or ever did any type of sin, God's wrath poured out on Jesus. Period. Exclamation. Done. And I read something in my. I love this. I read a note in one of my Bibles. I couldn't find which Bible it was. Okay. It said one drop of Jesus' blood. From this second, all the way back to Adam, could wash it away. Amen. One drop. Amen. Hallelujah. Power. 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 Romans 1 8 in the, in the New King James and the King James Version says, There is therefore no no, no therefore there there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. That last phrase does not appear in the original Greek manuscripts. It's almost as if the translators could not believe that the declaration of no condemnation comes without any conditions. But it doesn't. Jesus himself was condemned for all our sins. There is no conditions and no other functions that need to be done. It is all about Jesus finished work and none of man's efforts. I read a book one time, it was so good. I've never seen it ever, ever again. I borrowed it. It's, the name of it was Grace. Just, just Grace on the front. And inside it says, Jesus plus nothing. Jesus plus nothing. Hallelujah. It's taken me so long to get that, I'm sorry to say. 1 John 4, 17 says, Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. We have no dread in facing God at the judgment. Even now, in this world, we are as he is. He is perfect before God, so are we. But you got to get a revelation on it. Got to study these scriptures. I'm still studying them. I still study them. Ephesians 2, 5, and 6. Even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, for by grace you have been saved, and raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. From this place of partnership, he grants that we share in the present works of his kingdom's power. You don't have to worry about how your behavior will be governed without a consciousness of condemnation. Titus 2, 11, 12 says, I mean, it tells the grace will be your teacher. Listen to this, I'm going to read it. Titus 2, 11, 12. For the grace of God has appeared to all men, teaching us, I mean, that's the word of God. Just study it. The grace of God has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. 
grace teaches us. The expanded, expanded Bible version of this says, it teaches, grace does, it teaches, trains, disciplines us to turn away from ungodly, ungodly living and the evil things the world does, worldly desires and sinful pleasures. Instead, that grace teaches us to live in the present age in a wise, self-controlled, and upright way. So don't let condemnation... How many people have lived in condemnation? Uh-huh. Well, I have, that is something I have fought. Some people fight fear or addictions. That is what I have fought and fought and fought and fought. And I still have, um, need more revelation on it. Don't let condemnation rob you. It robs you of boldly coming to the throne of grace. When you feel guilt, you don't want to talk to God. Condemnation is a thief. It robs our peace of mind. It robs our effectual prayer life. It robs you of your zeal. In the new covenant, a man who has accepted Jesus Christ loses the sense of sin consciousness. God has brought a redemption that covers every phase of man's need. Perfectly restores his fellowship with the Father. So there is no sense of guilt or memory of past sins. We stand complete in Christ. And this is something you just definitely have to meditate on. I, ha I, mean, I have to constantly do it and constantly resist and rebuke condemnation. I constantly resist and rebuke it. Always, always when it comes. We stand complete in Christ. Complete. Everything's been paid for. Everything's been taken away. God is a forgiver. John 1.16 says, For in his fullness have we all received and grace upon grace. Maybe you could say, and grace upon grace upon grace upon grace upon grace. Righteousness gives us the sweet consciousness of sonship. The devil may say this. How can you raise your hands to worship? You know what you call that guard that you cut off, just, that cut you off just before church, you know. But I read this and I'm not kidding. The Holy Spirit come all over me. I'm not kidding you. But go ahead and raise your hands. Go ahead and raise your voice. <laughs> because remember, you're worshiping the forgiver. You're worshiping the forgiver. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. We are worshiping the forgiver. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It was just a revelation. Just presence come all over. Stop punishing yourself. Jesus has already been punished for your sin of any kind, past, present, and future. Listen to Christ exalting preaching, Christ forgiveness preaching. You will become righteous conscious because God declared you righteous. Oh, it's hard to shift. I mean, I mean, it's been hard for me to shift. Oh, it's been hard for me to shift from from condemnation to righteous conscious. You can do great exploits for Christ when you are righteous conscious instead of sin conscious. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Meditate on it. Think about it constantly. And maybe you won't have to be like I was for years and years and years and years and years. And I'm still trying to change even this morning. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Christ has already paid for that. Christ has already paid for that. Hallelujah. You just have to fight. You do have to. It's a good fight of faith. But we remember that. For when I first met Ish, I, I, he knows how I am. And he said this. He said, what scripture? He said, there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ. And you know what? Just sing again. No and I've read that scripture many times. There is no condemnation. If you are condemned or made to feel guilty, it's not you. And, and listen to this. It's the devil. But listen, my problem was, is he condemned me for so long. I didn't, he, didn't need, he didn't need the baton no more. I took the baton and I was doing it. Amen. But you know, I'm going out of that. 
Hallelujah. 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 And you can get out of it too. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I, I pray this came forth like it was supposed to or like not, I mean, you know, like I wanted it to. Because it is, it, it's a paralyzing thing, and I hate the devil, and I hate his condemnation. We don't have to be under that no more. Ever. Ever. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. I thank you, Father, that you are a healing Jesus, that you are a delivering Jesus. God, you are a forgiving Jesus. Jesus, yes. help us to meditate and understand, Father God, that you want us so free, God. Help us, God. I thank you, Father God. Do your perfect work in our lives, Father God. And I praise you, God. And I thank you, God. You are a good God. And a long suffering God. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, forever. 